Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you how we can create a single side PCB using a CNC machine. We will learn how to export the design from Eagle as a Gerber files, import them to Flatcam to set all the needed parameters so such as tools and depth and finally export the G-code so we can use it in Kendall to send the commands to the machine. Here we have a simple design with few SMT components, through hole components and the final cutout of the PCB so we can see how to use a multiple tools in one design. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to export the design into a Gerber file using the CAM processor window. Here we need to select all the layers that we need to export. In this demonstration, we need only the top copper, the profile, and the drill. We will delete all the rest. In the drill section, we will generate an excellent output. This will contain all the drills that we need to do, and we can delete the auto drill. And we will also delete the assembly. Now we will save this job. So if we need to make some changes to our design, we can export the global files using the same settings that we just did. Now we will process the job. This will export all the global files into the folder that we choose. Let's create a new folder and we call it uh, Gerber. If we open the folder, we can see the folder structure. We have the cam outputs, inside we have drills and Gerber files. If we take a look at the Gerber files, we need only the copper and the profile and uh, the drill is the excellent file. So we're done with Eagle. Now we go to Flatcam and import our files. So now that we are in Flatcam, let's open our files. First we will open the Gerber files. The next thing is to open our excellent files, the drill file. It's important to do it right at the beginning, so if we want to move the, the design, we can move all the layers at once and everything will stay aligned. So let's move it closer to the origin. Just select, right click, click on move, click the point that you want to drag from and that's it. So let's create the traces for the copper layer. We need to select and click on the isolation routing. In this panel we need to define the tool, the tool diameter and how deep we want to cut. I have a V-shape tool so we need the calculator. Here I enter the tip diameter. I'm using 0.1 millimeter and the angle is 15 degrees and the dip is 0.1 millimeter. This will give me the tool diameter that we need. So let's go back and I'll enter the calculated value and the, the dip that I need to in gray. Let's apply all the settings and generate isolation geometry. Now we can see a red trace around all the traces. Let's define the depth again. This is actually what the machine is going to do. The spindle speed is 10,000. The default end move in the z-axis is 15 millimeters. This value might be too much 
since the machine can hit the end switch in the z-axis. I'll change it to 2. Now click the apply parameters to all tools. Don't forget this step because the output g-code might be wrong. I left all the field rate values at their default and I'll click the generate CNC job. Now we can see a blue line that is the actually g-code. Let's inspect the g-code and see that the values that we entered are present. Don't skip this step and make sure that everything is okay. Let's save this file. We will create a new folder called CNC and we will rename the name of the file. Now we need to define our drills. We select the excellent file and this step is similar to the previous one. We need to define the Z cut, the depth of the drill. I give it a 2 millimeters so it can be a little more thick than the PCB. The end move I set it to 2 millimeters and the spindle to 10,000. Don't forget to apply the parameters and generate the object. We also need to inspect the, the G code and if everything is okay, let's save it and call it drill. The last thing we need to do is to create the cutout so we can separate the PCB from the material. I'm using a milling bit with a 1mm di diameter. The Z cut I can leave it 1.8 and I'm using also the multi depth function with the 0.3mm. This will take more time but it will reduce the stress from the milling bit. In order to make the cutout the same shape of the PCB we need to change the type to Gerber and select the po profile Gerber file. Now if we generate the geometry we can see that the red line is the same shape of the profile. Once everything is set, we need to go back to the geometry object of the profile, the cutout, and define the actual machine parameters as before. The only thing we need to change is the spindle speed to 10,000 and again change the end move of the Z. Once everything is okay, we hit apply and generate CNC job. Now we can see the blue border, this is the cutout. Let's inspect the CNC code and make sure that the spindle is okay and the end move is okay. And if we go back to the main screen we can right click on the CNC job of the cutout and save it. Now let's open the first file in candle and start engraving. Since we are engraving a PCB, it is recommended to use the height map feature. We will attach the probe directly to our PCB and the machine will probe the height in a different spots according to our design. This will adjust the G-code according to the results and if the bed is not perfectly leveled, it will compensate for it. You can see the whole process right now in the time-lapse.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more detailed tutorials, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to watch my previous video of unboxing the CNC. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification icon to be notified when I release my next video. And until next time, build something.